Hi and hello dear friends. Welcome back once again to our channel Vagai Academy of Mathematics and this playlist is where you can find video lessons for CAT, MAT and other management exams. This session we have again an interesting question from the concept of numbers. Let's directly get into the question. What is the maximum value of n? So note the question very carefully. What is the maximum value of n such that 157 factorial is divisible by 12 raised to the power n. So this is going to be the question. So I hope by seeing the question itself, you would have inferred that this is much familiar to you. Because if you remember, we have already seen questions based on the same concept. So finding the maximum power or finding the highest power of any given number in other numbers, some other numbers factorial. We have already seen questions, okay? So if you want, I can uh, just attach the link of uh, those videos here in the i card or description anywhere, okay? So that you can just have a quick visit of those old videos. So we have already seen problems based on finding the highest power of a number. We have, we have seen highest power of a prime number as well as composite number in a given numbers factorial. This we have seen. Now look at our question. Here we have, we have to find the highest power of 12 because we have to find the value of n and where is that n n is there present at the power of this number 12 only 12 power n so in that case what you can tell about this number 12 is that 12 is a composite number is it or not so remember 12 is not a prime number it's a composite number so whenever we need to find the highest power of a composite number we should be a little bit cautious with that okay fine yes yeah okay now, whenever we are given a composite number whose highest power, if we need to find, the first thing what we need to do is we have to break this number 12. I mean, we have to prime factorize this number. Okay. It's not a very big number. It's easy for us to prime factorize our number because 12 can be rewritten as what? 12 can be written as 4 threes are right. And once again, the 4 can be written as 2 square. Is it or not? That means 12 overall can be written as 2 square multiplied by 3. That's it. So we are going to find the highest power of this 12 or in other words, what I can tell is we are going to find the highest power of this expression 2 square into 3, the highest power of this expression, which is lying inside which value? See here 157 factorial. This is going to be a task. Okay. So 157 factorial is what our factorial number inside which what is the highest power of 12 available or Inside which what is the highest power of this expression available? This is what we need to check it. Okay, fine. Yes. And now we have just uh, broken into prime factors, right? So we have 2 square multiplied by 3. Now what we are going to do is we are going to individually work out. First, we are going to work out for 2 square. And then we are going to work out for 3. Okay, yes. We are going to find the highest power of this 2 square separately and 3 separately lying inside this 157 factorial okay yes so for this only we are going to use our classic approach which you have you must have seen the earlier problems so we are going to adopt the same method here okay now if you look at individually we have 2 square right let us start from 2 because 2 is the basic prime number there right so once we got the highest power of 2 from there we can easily tell what is the highest power of 2 square right okay yes so we'll start finding the highest power of 2 in 157 factorial so how we can do that so start with this 157 so we are going to do what we are going to do step division we have to repeatedly do step division by 2 that's it okay yes so now try to divide 157 by 2 how many times we can divide this so i think we can divide up to 70 so how many times 78 times is it or not yes because 2 into 78 will be exactly 156 but we can go up to 78 times only so okay no need to worry about the remainder that's not important so exactly 78 times you can just write the whole number part alone 78 times just continue the steps so next we have 2 again divide 78 by 2 this will be exactly 39 times and continue next 2 this will be exactly 19 times why because 2 into 19 will be 38 right that's why so 19 times it will go and again continue so 2 19 it will be exactly how many times 2 9s are 18 right so that means this will be 9 times again continue 2 in 9 it will be 4 times again continue 2 in 4 will be 2 times and last one more time 2 in 2 will be 1 times that's it finished 
so that means I just did the step division method so now what is the procedure for us to find the highest power of 2 very simple thing we just ignore the first number this number alone is ignored we have to add all the remaining numbers these numbers we have to add it okay yes so once you add these numbers that will give you the highest power of 2 in this 157 factorial okay yes so can you try to add it carefully shall we add this yes so i think we can uh, put the small numbers together so small numbers we have 9 4 2 1 so these numbers will bring you 16 right because 9 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 will be 16 okay so these numbers will be 16 and along with that we'll add the other three numbers which we see at the top okay we have 19 there we have 39 we have 78 let's add these numbers okay fine yes so if we try to add it we can easily get the answer so i think this will be like uh, 15 24 and then we have uh, 33 right so we have 33 so let's be careful so this will be 15 and then uh, so this will be 15 24 24 plus 8 will be uh, 32 correct so 32 now we put to here this will be 3 and once again add these numbers this will be like 10 13 14 15 so 152 that means the highest power of 2 in 157 factorial is going to be 152 that means we have 2 to the power 152 available inside this 157 factorial that's the meaning okay all right now we'll just get one step ahead okay but what we have here we have 2 square in our number 12 whose highest power is what we have we have to actually find there so in inside this 12 we have 2 square so we have to find the highest power of 2 square is what we need to find is it or not we got 2's power to be 152 available but all we want is 2 squares power so very simple thing just very very simple thing just try to rewrite this 2 power 152 in terms of 2 squares power so how we can write it it's going to be very simple right because 2 power 152 can be written as 2 square 2 square just divide this 152 by 2 because when you have power of power they get multiplied right so if i want to see this outer power find the outer power what happens i can divide 152 by 2 if i try to do that i will be getting 76 so that means so that means the highest power of 2 square available inside 157 is 157 factorial is what this is going to be 76 okay yes so we will just note it here so maybe i can note it separately okay so this will be this will be two squares highest power will be okay let me write it separately here without any confusions okay so two squares highest power available is 76 we'll note it here yes fine okay now come to the other number three so three is highest power also we need to find here okay so for which again we have to do the same step division process okay so let's start from the same number 157 so 157 we have to take it so 157 just do repeated division step division by 3 now okay so 3 in 157 it will be exactly how many times it will be like uh, 3 5s are 15 and we have 3 2s are 6 so 52 times and once again 3 it will be like exactly exactly 17 times right so 17 times because 3 17s are 51 and we have 52 here we can't go beyond that so 17 times up to 17 times we can go and once again continue 3 and 17 this will be exactly 5 times because 3 5s are 15 and then next is 3 we can take only one time because 3 1s are 3 that's all we can't go for 3 2s are 3 2s are will become 6 that will exceed this 5 that's the reason so that's it done okay now we have ended up with a number which is still lesser than this 3 so stop it here that's it now again the same thing just eliminate the first number you just remove the first number you take the other numbers alone you add them so when you try to add these numbers you will be getting what 52 plus 17 i think directly i can add it right so 52 plus 17 will be 69 right 69 plus 6 see here we have 5 plus 1 6 so 69 plus 6 will be 75 so that means here we have got 3 is highest power to be 75 i hope you got the point right so 3 is highest power the highest power of 3 available inside this 157 factorial is going to be 75 so that means i got 3 to the power 75 so successfully we got both the values so now we got to know what is the highest power of 2 square in 157 factorial which is 76 
and also at the same time we got to get highest power of 3 also inside this 157 factorial which is 75 we got both the value side but now what is the question we need to find what is the highest power of 12 remember what is the highest power of 12 available inside this 157 factorial this is going to be the question right yes anyways this 12 is composed of 2 square into 3 so 1 2 square and 1 3 they both will combine to give you 1 12 is it or not and now just see here how many 2 squares we have here inside this 157 factorial talking here inside that 157 factorial how many 2 squares available maximum 76 2 squares are available and when you come there maximum 75 threes are available is it or not so they need to combine to give you 12s right this this one pair should form to get 112 that means maximum how many pairs we can form pairs of two squares and three maximum how many pairs we can form of course obviously we can form only 75 pairs is it or not because here you got 76 whereas here, here you got only 75 that means at a maximum you can make 3 is 75 3 power 75 to collide with 2 square power 75 to give to get you 12 power 75 right is it or not so just see the minimum power alone that alone will tell the information okay that itself will make you understand what will be the answer okay so here we have two two squares power available to be 76 whereas three is power to be available to be 75 but if i want to combine them to get the maximum number of 12s i can form only maximum 12 to the power 75 is it or not so that means what's the answer or what can be the maximum value of this uh, 12 power n so that you can divide 157 factorial by 12 what's the maximum power yeah without doubt it will be 75 only so 75 is a maximum power of 12 available here okay fine yes so that means 12 75 the maximum power is 75 our answer is ready available at option c itself so option c 75 is going to be the answer for this particular question okay yes all right so just have a view i hope the steps are clear to you and also now i guess you are comfortable in finding what is the highest power of a composite number okay yes whenever you need to find the highest power of a composite number this is the procedure actual procedure you need to handle okay just i've given in the conventional way okay fine yes if at all you need to find the highest power of a prime number we can directly go by the step division itself it's not going to be a very big deal we can simply do the step division ignore the first value and then you add the rest you'll get the highest power that itself but when you have your question asking for the highest power of a composite number now you have to break the composite number and this is the way you need to proceed and then get the answer maybe maybe if possible if you are very smarter what you can try is you can quickly just calculate in your mind itself which power will be least which will be giving you the least power okay for example here you come to calculate two squares power to be 76 and three is power to be 75 is it or not so if we are able to judge it in our calculation i mean before calculation itself if you are able to judge the three is powers will be minimum you can directly get this one and that will be the answer fine yes but that needs more practice and experience you can't do that at the beginning itself it will be very risky that's the reason so start doing the problems in a conventional way then later on with practice you will be able to acquire those shortcut things those uh, easy plans everything okay fine yes yeah i hope you are comfortable with this problem and as usual if you like this session please give a like here and also if you feel this session would this uh, video problem solution would help any of your friends please do share this video to your friends also and again we'll catch up in the next session with some other interesting question see you soon there thank you so much